Hey everyone, this is Michael from Hustle Sheets, and today I want to show you guys a dashboard that I built for Amazon FBA sellers. This is one of the best dashboards that I've built, and I'm really excited to show you guys how it works. So there are basically three pages uh, for the entire report, and I'm going to walk you guys through the features of each page and then give a brief overview of how everything works. I'm using my own FBA account for this, um, but I've modified the product names into a bunch of random, random products. All right, so on the first page, um, you're gonna see an account overview, right? And what this is, is it's basically a summary of all of your products combined into one tab. And if you look at the top section here, um, this is gonna show kind of like your main metrics, and it's gonna be for the previous week. So all of this data in this dashboard is on a week by week basis, and Amazon does their weeks from a uh, Sunday to a Saturday. So in this case, the previous week was April 26th to May 2nd. And um, so this section is gonna be controlled by this date selector, and then the rest of the page is gonna be uh, this date selector, which right now is set to this quarter to date. And the reason that we have that is so that you can just open up the page and then you can see quickly a snapshot of what happened last week and how it compares to the previous week. And then you can scroll down and then see like kind of like a bigger overview of how everything has been going for the previous, you know, um, five weeks or so, right? Or however long you want to set this to. So if you see here, um, the previous week we had $35,000 in net sales, um, 543 units sold, and then a net profit of $17,000 and a profit margin of 50% which is you know a over 100% increase in all these metrics um, from the week prior to that. And then in this section here, you're going to see um, it says average sales per week and average profit per, per week. What this is, is it's going to show you the average sales you had uh, over these past uh, five weeks, right? So I can see that I sold $13,000 and the average profit was $6,000 almost. Um, the first chart that you see is going to be just a pretty standard uh, sales profit and unit chart just so you can see how everything is trending and I can hover over it and it's going to show kind of the exact numbers of what's going on for each week. So we had a big increase um, for these two weeks. Right. And then um, the next section is going to be a weekly breakdown and this is a more detailed breakdown for every single week. And um, what it shows is your sales, units, profit, margin, the PPC spend, um, the A cost for that week, the PPC sales percentage, which is going to be the percentage of sales that you had that came from paid traffic and the percentage that came from organic. So this was 63%. And you can see that the average for the five weeks was about 50%. And then here is the returns amount and then the returns percentage. And a cool thing is that you can also select this section here and you can see a few other units as well, a few other metrics as well. So like total units, uh, the net units is going to be um, total units minus refunded units or returns amount. And then the total is going to show the actual amount. Uh, and oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that you're also able to drill up. So if you click here, you can drill up to month. And what it's going to do now, it's going to group in the data by month, right? Um, if I select year to date, it might be a little bit better. Uh, so you can see that previously it was grouped into weeks. Um, so this is the week ending in January 4th. This is the week ending in January 11th and so forth. And if I go up, it's going to group it by month now. Now, it's important to know that since um, we download the data for this every week, so we downloaded it from you know, the 26th to the 2nd, the 3rd to the 9th, and so forth. This isn't an actual, like, March month. What this is, it's going to be the four months, the four full weeks that are inside uh, March. So if you look at March, right, it's not going to be from March well, 1st to March 31st. What this is, is going to be uh, this week here, this week here, this week here, and this week here. So it's going to be from the 1st to the 28th. So just to let you know, it's not an exact month, but it's a pretty good approximation um, of the four weeks inside that month. And then you can do the same uh, with this as well and break it down into a month format. Um, the very last section is going to be a cost by week. Um, it's basically a cost breakdown. And what this is going to show is the percentage, um, the amounts um, of each type of cost that you had for each week. 
So there's cost of goods, the PPC spend, the returns amount, service fees, shipping costs, and then like a grand total. And uh, this is really important because for me and my business, I had no idea that I was getting all of these service fees and they were basically long-term storage fees or FBA inventory fees that I never knew that we were getting charged for until I built this report and looked at it. So if you see here, um, we had $5,000, five dollars dollars in service fees this year alone. And if I click on it, it's gonna update this pie chart. And you see here, we had $3,000 in long-term storage fees, which were basically products that had been in Amazon's warehouse for a very long time that I had no idea that were occurring these, um, these crazy fees. And then $1,500 in storage fees, so this can help you kind of take action and um, kind of figure out some deeper issues when you see how much you're losing um, from these random fees. So that's gonna be the first page here. If you go to the second page, it's gonna be a product overview. And what this does is it kind of lets you look at all of your products compared to one another um, over a selected date range. For me, I've set this to default to show the last week. So this way I can just look at it and see last week a quick snapshot of what's going on. This first uh, chart is a cost, product, and total chart. So I can see how much profit I'm getting for each product. You can see here um, the total costs were 16,600, the profit was 16,700, and that means the sales were 33,000. And uh, this is obviously my best product, but if you have something like this, which is a similar situation, and it kind of skews this, right? I can go to this menu here and deselect garlic press. Now it's gonna show me every product except for the garlic press, so I can kind of um, get a better idea of what's a profitable product for me, right? And then I can just uh, select it again to bring it back in here. This product breakdown is going to be a more detailed breakdown of every single, um, of each product, right? So the net sales, unit profit margin, um, everything that we see, that we saw on the first page. Um, you can even uh, select here and see all of these optional metrics and remove some. So it's very customizable. Um, you can even see things like... Uh, you know, sessions that you've had, the page views, the unit session percentage, um, all this great detail that's really hard to kind of see um, within Amazon. Uh, so another, another thing I forgot to mention is that you can select, if you have any child variations or variations on your products, different sizes or colors, um, right now it's grouped by parent, right? What you can do is select one that has a child variation and then drill down and you'll see here that um, it's going to break it down by uh, by the variations, which for me is extra large, large, small, and medium. I can see the total units sold for each and then the profit. Now, keep in mind that uh, this profit isn't really accurate because the way Amazon does their uh, ad spend is they kind of just um, advertise one child skew and then, you know, it takes up all the spend, right? So the profit's not really accurate, but you still get an idea of what's of which... Um, of which variation is selling the most and same with uh, this breakdown you're able to drill down and then i'm able to see okay um so you can actually make this bigger so this data studio is really easy to fix so you can see here that i needed to make this a little bit bigger and just move this and i want to move page views to a optional metric okay so what you can do is select um, elbow sleeves and then I can drill down and now I can see for medium large um, small the number of units sold profit things like that return rates um, etc and then this bottom section is a cost breakdown for the product so I can see exactly where the costs are coming from right now the final page is a product breakdown and the reason I built this was to look at one specific product over a period of time and see how it's trending, right? So it's very similar to the first page. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select one product. So let's say I select uh, my best product, which is the garlic press. Um, this is gonna be a snapshot of the previous week so I can see how this week is doing. Um, and then this is going, to, now the rest of the page is gonna follow this format, which is currently set to this quarter. 
Um, so now I can see for this one product, which is the garlic press, I can see the average sales per week, the average profit per week, and then the average sale price that it had during this period of time. Um, this is a very basic, uh, the same chart. So I can see how the units, the sales and the profit are trending. And then down here is a detailed view again, broken out by week. And then I can also um, grab all these random metrics like sessions, session percentage, average sale price, organic sales, page views, great, um, all these great metrics. And then this is a paid versus organic breakdown. So I can see that for the garlic press um, over this period of time, we had 56% in um, paid sales and then 43% in organic sales. And then down here is a child variation by units. So if I were to select everything, um, you can see that it's broken out by um, by parent nickname and then by child. And then you can see the number of units for each and so forth. So that's uh, a basic overview of how this dashboard works. And let me show you guys really quickly um, where the data comes from. So uh, this report is basically built on four reports within Amazon. Um, one is the business reports, one is the advertised product report, the service fees report, and then the returns report. And then what I have is a tab called instructions that is basically a video. It's about a five minute video each to show you exactly how to download the reports and paste it into this Google spreadsheet. So the idea is that every Monday morning you come in and you download the, the four reports for the previous week and then you paste it in. It takes about a total of five minutes for all four reports combined. And then you're going to have this data automatically feed into this dashboard here. Um, another thing is the products dictionary is something that I've I've created um, it's a structure to help you guys uh, put in your child SKUs. Now I've hidden my child SKUs here, but you put in a parent nickname, a child nickname, the cost of goods, shipping costs, the referral percentage, and the FBA fee. And again, there's instructions on here on how to create the product dictionary, right? And um, it's going to lead to a um, a separate YouTube video that I haven't uploaded yet, but it's going to show you all of that. And then here is my contact information as far as and then my LinkedIn and a link to the website to my website as well all right guys uh, so that was basically a a very quick overview of how this dashboard works um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description on where you guys can download and purchase this dashboard I haven't decided how exactly I'm going to um, sell it I was thinking about selling maybe the first page for people who only have one product um, and then all three combined but I'm not sure yet so just check out the link and then you'll see your options below um, besides that, thanks guys for watching this video and make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more templates like this and uh, more tutorials on how to use Google Sheets and Data Studio for your business. Alright, thanks guys.